What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I wanna talk about creating message boxes with Kinter and Python. All right guys, in the last video, we looked at creating radio buttons. In this video, we're gonna create message boxes. But before we get started, if you like this video, and wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee of just $27, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so I've created a new file. I called it message.py, and I've just pasted in the same starter code that we always have. So a message box is just a little like a pop-up box, right? It usually has a couple of buttons, yes or no, okay, uh, cancel, all that sort of thing. And, you know, you're going to use these a lot for a lot of different things. So to get started, we have to actually import a module to use this. So we're going to go from tkinter, import, oops, probably a good idea to spell import correctly. And we want to import message box, all one word, right? So to do this, there's actually several different ways we can do this. So first, let's just create a button. Let's go button, and we want this in root, and we want the text to be, I don't know, pop up. And then let's just pack this onto the screen. Okay, now we actually want to call a command. So when we click this, we want it to do something. And let's call this pop up. Right. So now we need to create a pop up function. So let's go define pop up. OK, so inside of this, we want to create a message box. Now, there are several different types of message boxes you can create, and I'm going to go through all of them. But for right now, the very first basic one is show info. And this one isn't interactive, I don't think. It just, you know, puts up some text on the screen. So uh, the first parameter, this takes two or three parameters. And the first one is the title bar that you want to show up. So uh, I'm just going to type, this is my pop-up, right? And then the next one is the message that we want to show in the actual pop-up. So let's just type, hello world, right? And I think that will do it. So let's save this, head over to our C forward slash GUI directory where we're saving all these files. And let's run this message.py. Uh-oh, invalid syntax. Oh, <laughs> I'm in a big hurry today. Forgot our parentheses. Okay, so save this, come back here and run this again. Let's clear the screen because who wants to look at error messages? Oh no, okay, so what have we done here? Button, text, man. All kinds of errors this morning. All right, lowercase t in text. So let's save this, try it one more time, clear this screen. All right, it actually finally worked. Okay, so we just have our little app here. Oops, it disappeared on me. And it has a button pop up. When we click this, boom, here's our little pop up. And you can see here's the title. This is my pop up. And then the actual thing itself says hello world. And it's got this little eye next to it because this is a, an info or showing info. And if we click this, it disappears, right? So that's pretty much it. And it's pretty simple. So if we close this. Now, I mentioned there are several different types of in, uh, boxes that we can create. So I'm just going to paste in this comment. And these are the different message boxes. There's the show info one, the show warning, show error, ask question, ask okay cancel, and ask yes or no. And to use each of these, we just change this little bit right here. So instead of show info, if we want to do a show warning, we can save this and paste. So if we save this and run it, we get pop up, and then it says hello world. But now, we get this little uh, okay message, or we get this little warning thing. Now, I'm gonna turn up my volume. And if we hit this again, did you hear that? We got that sort of error sound. You hear that? 
that comes with the warning. That didn't happen with the show info one. So, okay, let's close this. Take a look at the next one. So show error. Copy this, paste it in, save it, and run this again. And pull it over. Did you hear that? That's the error warning. And you get this big angry X, right? So that's the error one. Close this. And let's see, ask question, copy, paste, save, and run. Boom. Pull this over. Okay, so now it just says hello world, but we have now yes or no, right? So if we click yes, nothing happens. If we click no, nothing happens. I'll show you in a little bit what how to do things based on whether they clicked yes or no or okay or cancel or, or any of that stuff just as soon as we go through all of these. So that was ask question. And so now let's try ask okay cancel. Save, run. So okay or cancel, right? And again, we'll look at how to play with these buttons in a bit. Close that. And what's less? Left, left, finally ask yes, no. If we save this, paste, save, and run, we get yes or no. Okay, so that's cool, but now how do we deal with these buttons? Um, let's close this. So what we can do here is take this whole thing and just smoosh it into a variable. So we can call this variable anything. I'm going to call it response. And then we just set that equal to that. Now we can actually print out the response and see exactly what it is. And once we know what it is, we can do an if else statement in order to you know, do stuff depending on that. So let's create a, a quick label. And we want this in root. And we want the text to equal response. Now let's just pack this on the screen. Okay, so we save this and we've got the ask yes or no guy on there right now. So we can run this, pull this over, you see the pop up, yes or no. So let's click yes. Boom, it returns one. That's kind of interesting, right? If we click no, it returns zero. So what we could do is close this and pull up our thing. Now we know it returns a one for a yes or a no or zero for no, so we can go if response equals, and you need the double equal to sign to compare. We're not assigning, we're comparing. Then we can just, let's pull this. And for the response, let's click, or let's type in, you clicked yes, All right? Now we can go else, you clicked no. So let's save this and run it. And pull this over. So hello world, yes, no. Boom, one, you clicked yes. Try it again, no. Zero, you clicked no. So let's pull this back up. This we can get rid of. Okay, so that's interesting. Now, that's for ask, ask yes, no, All right? So I'm going to can't or I'm going to comment that out this stuff and undo this. Now let's just go through these all very quickly. So ask OK cancel. We save this. Run it again. Pop up. OK or cancel. So if we click OK, we get one. If we click cancel, we get zero. So OK cancel also returns a one or a zero. Right? Uh, what do we ask? Ask question. Let's take a look at this one. Save it. Pop up. Yes, no. If we click yes, it returns yes. If we click no, it returns no. Right? So that's kind of cool. So now, if we want to play with that one down here, we have to change this to yes. Right? In fact, let's just run this to make sure that works. So save this, run it again. Zoom 
pop up. Yes, you clicked yes, pop up. No, you clicked no, very cool. Okay, so very quickly again, let's comment this out. Comment, comment, comment. There we go. And then let's look at the rest of these. Show error. Save and run. Now I could just tell you what each of these do, but I think this is a better way because in the future, if you can't find documentation on this, you need to be able to figure out how to determine what these things are returning on your own, and this is how you do it. So if we click OK, it returns OK. So that's interesting. What else do we have? Show error, show warning. Save. And run. Pull this over. Hello world. OK, it returns OK. And then finally, we have show info. Save it and run it. Bring it over, pop up, OK. It returns OK as well. So very cool, very easy to create message boxes. And there's like a zillion different reasons why you might want to create a message box um, for any number of reasons. And that's how you do it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. So you pay just $27 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 50,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com. We'll see you in the next video.